Chestnut is a portfolio of pubs in this fantastic region of East Anglia, which enable us to showcase some of the assets that we have around the region, whether that be people, provenance or place. So I was born and raised on the Norfolk Suffolk border, um, near a small place called Dis. I'd always had a great passion for this region, um, but having spent most of my um, adulthood away from the region, was frustrated that it had always been underlooked by people. And I'm hugely proud of the region, hugely proud of the people, hugely proud of what we have to offer here. And I didn't feel as though anybody from a hospitality perspective was doing something to make the region proud. And that was really how and why we started Chestnut. It's incredible that people don't think about East Anglia as being the centre of food in the UK. For all of those great food brands that you listen, talk about, or you hear about, or you read about on menus in London, Gressingham Dub, Blytheborough Pork, Chrome and Crab, Brankster Mussels, the vegetables grown in the Fen, all of this is in this region. We have probably got the greatest concentration of provenance of product of anywhere in the UK. And this is part of why Chestnut are here in East Anglia immensely proud of the food that we're able to show and deliver to our guests. If you now look at a map of East Anglia that we have on our website, you'll see a number of properties in some of the most fantastic places across the region. We've always set our ambition on owning or developing a portfolio of destination properties that sing for the loudest bits of this region that we should be proud of. So whether or not that is the coastal areas of Norfolk and Suffolk, whether it's the areas of outstanding natural beauty around Cunswell country, whether it's the old market trading town of Saffron Walden, whether it's the global headquarters of horse racing around Newmarket, there is so much this region has to be proud for and our ambition is to represent as many of those places as we can The Pack Horse Inn in Moulton came into my life because I was ill at home and we were having a wall rebuilt. And the builder who was building that wall told me or informed me that the Pack or the King's Head as it was called then was for sale. And not being very good at doing nothing, I thought I would do some work and find out whether or not we could run a pub. And so I spoke to my sister, who's now our wine merchant, and I spoke to several other people who I knew were in the hospitality business, and I put together a spreadsheet on my laptop. I then went to go and speak to a friend of mine and said, am I mad? And he said, yes, you are mad, but I didn't listen to him, which was the start of not listening to lots of people trying to give me advice over the years. So we bought the pub, uh, a moment, the first moment of madness in the life of Chestnut. And knowing nothing more than how we would do it if we were entertaining guests at home, we took furniture out of our house, we bought, we, I got a white van, I drove all around the country, and we put stuff into the pack course, and we looked at how other people would do it, and I just thought about how I would have a pub if I could create my own pub, and I was, had this amazing opportunity to do exactly that. With a great deal of nervousness, we then opened, and then that was in October 2013, and here we are several years later, and the pack horse has been busy ever since. And I don't know whether that was a combination of luck or judgment, but it was certainly the luck piece gave me the confidence to carry on and grow the business to where we are today. Why are we called Chestnut? When we bought the pack horse in, in 2013, is that I had always felt that the role of a pub in a community should be one of bringing people together, it should be one of longevity, it should be one of evolving over time, the way in which the pub industry has had to change and adapt, the smoking ban and drink driving, etc. When looking for a name of the business to buy the first one, I wanted, I wanted to find a name that represented all of those characteristics and I'd always felt that a tree a tree is something that remains in a community. It grows over time. It puts roots down in a community. The central trunk holds all of the food and distributes that to the branches in the same way in which our business, we have the central chestnut brand and we've got a series of unique branches that come off our different properties. So as a tree is a permanent feature within a community, I see our pubs form a permanent role in those communities and we should be the place where people come for shade and shelter in the event that they need to come together. Running this business is complicated, but I try and simplify it. 
In summary, we look for opportunities, we build great businesses and we look after our people. And it's that looking after people that I feel has given me most fulfilment in the journey so far. We've got people across our team who've started off working as waiters who now work in our finance department. We've got people who've been here for almost eight years when we started and they've worked across many different properties and they've been able to share so many of their experiences with the younger people coming into our business. Growing these businesses is not about everybody rising through the ranks and getting to the top. It's also about those people who are happy to work with other people, share their stories, share their experience and help them rise through the ranks to different jobs. I am absolutely convinced that the core value within our business is our people and we will do everything we can to develop those people, show them the training, provide an environment in which they can learn and provide them with the opportunity to grow their career as and when they want to. Chestnut is a growing business and our people are very ambitious. There are parts of the region that we're not represented in yet. We're not on the Essex coast, we're not in the Norfolk Broads. We've been looking long and hard to find a suitable property to be able to showcase those areas of the region. As part of a growing business, we're also very aware of the changing world in which we live in. We've got initiatives in terms of reducing our plastic usage, awareness of changing food trends, making sure that the way the working environment we create for our people is satisfactory for mental health and well-being. There is a tremendous amount of stuff that we have yet to do, but it's going to be all part of growing better and a great business that suits the environment in which we will all be living in.